town. They knew how to place with this Jamaican dude and, and this other guy. They were just laughing and just seemed like it must be like it seemed like the funnest place in the world to work. Oops, I did it the wrong way. Is that gonna work? Yeah, yes, sir. Okay. Um, my name is Colleen White, and I work for, I don't know if it, what is this gonna, can I just start over just? Say exact name. Just okay, say just cause I don't um, My name is, hmm? It's top secret. Okay, um, my name's Colleen White, and I work for, uh, what am I looking at, by the way? Uh, you can look at either the camera or the, oh, you're so, you're trying to get I'm not, I've, I've, I've been in front of cameras, I'm Rocky Rocky's Winter Cleaning and Maintenance. I'm Rocky Rocky's Winter Cleaning and Maintenance Company. What? Rocky Rocky's Winter Cleaning and Maintenance Company. You need some good dating tip? Don't spend your money when you first meet a girl. Go Dutch when you first meet her. Bring her flowers, tell her you're going Dutch. See what she's made of. So if it's not a good, good relationship to start out with, you won't lose nothing. I believe in God, I'll go to St. Peter's Catholic Church. I mean, without him, we're nothing. He made us. He made us. God made us. Astrology. There's a myth about astrology. See, they got signs. I'm Sagittarius. Got the Big Dipper, Lower Dipper. I used to have a, um, a what you call it, a telescope when I was seven years old. I studied the stars. What's the myth? There's no myth. Stars do fall from the sky. Star fell from the sky in 1966 over in Garfield Park. Such thing as stars, they fall from the sky, shooting stars and stuff like that. Sociobiology. I mean that. Mimesis in the human animal on the biogenetic foundations of literary representation. It's about how we are hardwired for narrative. Narrative, having a beginning, middle, and end, kind of, you know, was bilaterally symmetrical, and it occurred to me that we're bilaterally symmetrical, and the apparatus with which we perceive reality is that way. I mean, I went for a long time sort of believing that we are the end and beginning of reality, but now I'm starting to think that we are in sort of a complicated dialogue with reality. I'm throwing out, I'm like moving past structuralism. That's me. I'm the philosopher. Clip that to your collar. Just like this. Oh, come on, Dale. That's fine. That's so, uh, what I say. Do you have a girlfriend? Well, I hunted for a new one. Just put it that way. <laughs> but no, I really don't have one right now, but I'm hunting. What are you I, looking for? Like what kind of girlfriend? What kind? Yeah. Sweet and beautiful and nice and kind. Goes to church. And don't uh, be on the bad side. What do you mean? What's the bad side? Well, like she don't go to church or, or do crime, something like that. But I don't want no crime lady. Loves to do crime. I love a lady don't do crime. My dad had 10 or 11 kids or 12. That's our... Okay. Do you stay in touch with him? No. Because I don't got the phone number. I just can't wait. And, uh, 
98 for the new Deuce of Hazard of the Dream House of the Dukes. What? The Dream House of Dukes. What is that? Of Deuce of Hazard, the new movie. Yeah, they're gonna have a dream house and something else. I was watching the old movie. No, I mean, yeah, I was watching all of them, and it had Daisy Duke as a fat girl, fat old woman, fat woman, and Boss Hope was dead on it. <laughs> That, that's Daisy Duke. Oh. Here's Tom with that. Okay. Luke. There you go. Rockin'. You ready? Yep, ready. Okay. I'm Elaine, I'm 20, and I'm poor shit, and I work at a, in a restaurant. Yeah. Is that the boomerang guy? I don't know. No, I don't think so. I saw those boomerangs earlier. <laughs> What's up with that? <laughs> That's a good question. I often like to ask myself that question when I see it. I'm like, okay. You know, just people just choose different forms to express themselves in, and some happen to be boomerangs. You know, it takes flight. It's casual. <laughs> My name's Elton. My Elton, like Elton John, just without the John. Really, I've met seven in my life. Seven Eltons? Yeah, they were all pretty old. I think they were all mechanics, too. No, I'm not a mechanic. OK, uh, if you could just uh, tell us your name, say a little bit about your life. Uh, well, my name's Neil Thomas, and what do you want to know about my name, about my life? I just got out of prison three years ago for an armed bank robbery. No way. Yeah. That seems pretty incredible. Yeah, I robbed 17 banks, and I finally got caught. Well, when you rob a bank, if you ever go to rob a bank, banks that have FDIC on the door stand for Federal Depository Insurance Corporation. There's a list of laws or rules they have to be insured. They can't have an armed guard on the premises and they have to cooperate 100%. Even if they don't think that, even if you don't threaten them with a weapon, just the fact they're being robbed, they have to cooperate with it, so they have to give you the money. And it's just that simple. I was out 20 minutes and I was in a motel room with a hooker. <laughs> Drinking beer, getting stoned, getting laid. All my life I've been here. Still looking for the right man. I think I got him, but I don't know. He's 36. He's a, he works at a halter. He's a medic. He's a kickboxer and a boxer. He's a bodybuilder. He's good to me. He's been together two years. And I wouldn't go out with him at first. I thought he was a macho jerk stuck on himself. But he's not. He's sweet. I danced with him and I smelled him. It was just cologne. <laughs> He had red cologne on, and it smells so good. <laughs> yeah, it's a job. Yeah, I mean, you, you got to go to work. This year now I'm in uh, doing my one-year apprenticeship here on the square. Now, if you would shuffle those cards, it puts your energies into it. It puts them in a random order, which tells us a little bit about what's going on in your life. We have the crossroads. The crossroads tells us at, you're at a spot right now where you're having to make a decision about which, which, which way to go. The park foretells 
of new love. A lot of people panic when they see the coffin come up. We have the snake. You know, Adam and Eve had a problem with the snake too. They always try to trick you. Well, with the snakes, there comes calamities. Calamities, as everyone knows, you know, I'm sure y'all have watched the Keystone Cops. They were full of calamities. You do something like you slip on a banana and you fall and everyone around you laughs. You don't think it's very funny, but after you look at the situation, it was quite funny. Life is a circle. Everything always comes around. People are basically generally nice, I'd have to say, and generous. And people aren't, um, they look funny. Um, uh, hey, Claudia. All right. So this is your car. Yeah. This is your car. Yeah. Okay. Now this has to make it to the news today. <laughs> <laughs> It's all right. You want to be interviewed? Okay. We're doing a short film. But we're going to have to leave. Yeah. Would you like to be uh, interviewed for our film? Oh, that's okay. Thank you, though. You'll be animated. You'll be an animated huh? cartoon character. Huh? You'll be t an animated cartoon character. An animated cartoon character? Yeah. Yeah, I guess that's redundant, but that's what you'd what? be. How long will it take? Five minutes. Come on. Five minutes? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I don't know if it's recording. So how have you been? Good. You, you so are you here for very long? Yeah, I'm here in January. Oh, good. The sunny. Then I'll get to see you. We just um, drove from New York to here. Oh, my goodness. A little documentary of our trip. Uh-huh. Kind of how idea. fun. The end of the film. And um, Bob here is going to animate it. Hi. <laughs> I'm Claudia. Claudia. Mm-hmm. Nice to meet you.